This is the file for the Princess of the Night, Princess Luna. This transformation file utilizes Gearbox, allowing you to enjoy being Luna without affecting your base personality anytime you choose. This file is purely for the personality of Luna, and while you should use it in conjunction with a standard pony body transformation file, you don't need to. Before we begin, get a mental image of Princess Luna, or look up a picture if you need to. If you're okay with allowing yourself to become Princess Luna, then you just need to start by making yourself comfortable, just relaxing, getting into that nice, relaxing position, the one that you know you can relax in. If you want to close your eyes, that's a good idea. But if you don't, that's fine too. Just relax, and listen to my words, imagine a nice, calming energy flowing over you. It's a nice feeling to have this energy flowing over you. It's slightly warm and tingly, but mostly it's just very, very calming. I want you to imagine that this energy is relaxing every single one of your muscles, one at a time as it washes over you, taking all your tension and just letting it slip away. And as the energy goes through you, I want you to imagine a little gearbox in your mind seamlessly switching over to one specific gear for this file. And any changes that happen from here on out will be affecting this gear rather than your base personality. It's like an augmentation, if you will. One that does not replace you, but allows you to become another for a short time. And with these feelings, I want you to imagine yourself drifting off into a nice, calm, and deep trance state. I want you to let your breathing slow down, taking a breath in and out, just letting yourself relax, your breathing slowing and your heart rate and the rhythm of your body slowing too, to allow you to absorb all of the information I am giving you, to allow you to be calm and tranquil, just listening to the sound of my voice and letting it calm you. Breathe in, rest, and breathe out stress. Now, Princess Luna, imagine yourself floating on a cloud, breathing in and breathing back out. Above you, the heavens stretch out, dark and mysterious. Tiny stars glint above a peaceful world, your carefully arranged night. The moon shines brightly, illuminating pale blue clouds that you watch the world from. This is your night, from sunset to sunrise. This is your domain. So many ponies have misunderstood you in years gone by, but now you are celebrated. Revelries are held in the night. It is a time of singing, dancing, and drinking. It is a time of solace and rest. You can relax here, Luna, knowing that as you float above the world below, all is well. For you, the nighttime carries both relaxation 
and responsibility. But for now, you have nothing to tend to. Every star, every cloud is radiant and beautiful. You feel so at ease here, resting upon your cloud, resting in your night. No chores to be done, no annoyances, nothing you need to be doing at all, just resting and listening to my words, just thinking about breathing in and breathing back out, being so relaxed on your cloud. You know that this is who you are, that this is who you want to be. The softness of the cloud embraces you. The glow of the moon overtakes you. And from the moon, a tiny crescent-shaped object descends, almost glowing. A moon, just like the one that ought to be your cutie mark, falling down from the heavens and laying in front of you. The moon spins peacefully, reflecting moonlight and starlight. Luna, you reach out and take this moon in your hooves. And you realize that this moon, it knows you. It knows who you truly are. And it wants to share this with you. You feel your body relax. Those waves of rest and ease running down from your head, down your body, all the way to your hooves. Let this feeling take grip on this part of your mind. Let this gear become a new identity for you. After all, you are Princess Luna. You are the princess of the night. You are the light in the dark. You are the hope and the radiance of Equestria. You are redemption. You are the light when all other lights go out. You can relax in the darkness. Where other ponies find fear, you bring comfort. Comfort to others and comfort to yourself. Comfort that just lets you completely relax. Now I'm going to count down from 10 to 1, and with each number, you're going to find yourself fading out as if you had been asleep. And when I get to 1, you will find yourself starting to wake up in your own little head world, a headspace where you will realize who you truly are. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Fully relaxed, fully deep in trance. Luna, you are now ready to realize who you really are. What makes you Luna? I am going to give you a trigger now. You may have heard it before. It is a simple trigger. One that will bring you back to neutral in your gearbox with three simple 
words revert to normal. Whenever you hear revert to normal, you will shift out of whatever gear you are in and back to neutral. Now I am going to give you a second trigger, one that you will hear again later. And whenever you hear it, you will immediately feel yourself return to this state. Return to remembering who you are. And that phrase is, I am the princess of the night. And whenever you say, I am the princess of the night, you will return to this state and reflect upon who you are. Then you will awake as Princess Luna. Now, Luna, you are the one who speaks with a proper manner. When you misunderstand, you beg the pardon of others. You make an attempt to be cute when you speak, but never sacrifice that regal princess air in your voice. You always seek to expand your vocabulary and speak with proper grammar and dignity befitting a mare of your status. Luna, you are, of course, a mare of the night, the princess of the night, and you feel very close to it. You prefer the world when the stars twinkle. You prefer the world when the moon glows, when pale clouds travel by. You find yourself full of energy and life, ready to enjoy the wonders of the night. Whatever reservations you hold, Luna, simply allow them to fall, to slip away as you fall deeper, deeper into yourself. You remember now how you think. You are honest, almost to a fault. You have integrity, doing the right thing, even when no pony is watching you. You are inquisitive, always ready to learn new things. Kindness, and compassion are the light inside of you. They fill you with bravery. They give you the courage to be the mare of the night. This is your inner strength. This is the core of what is you. And now, Luna, now I am going to count down one more time from five to one. And when I count to one, you will find yourself waking up in a mindscape. You will be refreshed and alert, ready to take on the night as Princess Luna. Ready to live a night in your pony life. Ready to remember who you are. Be who you are meant to be, Princess Luna. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It's time for you to wake up, Princess Luna. Tonight, you are going to live a very good night in your pony life. Time to wake up in your dark chambers, purple and blue lace cushions and blankets. It is peaceful here, no pony to disturb you, no tasks demanding your attention before you are ready. With a small smile, you regally rise from your slumber. Every movement, every word, every thought is regal, measured. You are in control of yourself, 
whether some pony is watching or not. You slip into pale silver pony slippers, and with a tiny surge of magic from your horn, you lift a black tiara onto your head, resting it on top of your mane. Your mane flows around your neck and your scalp. The entire midnight sky illuminated in blue hues. With a warm smile to yourself, you open the door to your tower. You step out of your chambers and begin your night. This is going to be a very good night for you, Princess Luna. Two happy bat guards salute you, their bright smiles reflecting happy, brighter smiles. These bat ponies love and adore you. They are your trusted bat pony guards, those that you choose to trust, and they make you feel relaxed. You can let your guard down around them. These two guards, Midnight Tails and Echo, follow you as you begin descending down the stairs. You descend down to the castle courtyard, where the sun is beginning to set. You can see your sister lowering the sun with brilliant yellow magic from the ramparts. Your guards pull up your chariot, and with controlled, regal steps, you mount the chariot, planting your forehooves firmly in the reins. You brace your hind legs firmly against the floor. There is a sudden burst of cool air that throws your mane and tail back. Your guards rushing you into the sky as their wings beat. The air is full of the sound of leathery wings. And for a moment, you close your eyes and stretch out your wings. The breeze feels amazing, running through your fur. It tickles your skin, licking at your face and sides ever so quickly, yet ever so gently. The smooth air of Equestria relaxes you. It calms you. This is who you are. This is your element. You open your eyes, feeling magic swirl and burst out of your horn. It runs across the sky, chasing away the last of the sunset. Purple twilight stains the clouds, and as you raise the moon, the twinkling of a million stars greets you. The cosmos salutes your ritual. You continue to ride on your chariot, letting your magic spread the night until there is no more purple, only the pale blue and the black of night. You sail through the cool night, feeling a sense of quietness, of calmness. When you are stressed, when you are unsure of yourself, you think of this, this calm, cool night. You remind yourself to come to this place, a happy place where you are relaxed. Your guards begin to lower the chariot, lowering you into a garden. You gently drift down, your hooves stepping off the chariot as they pull away, leaving you alone. You are in a field of flowers, a field of lavender. This is your garden, Princess Luna, 
and you enjoy lavender plants. You've been known to gift fresh cuttings from them to ponies so that you can aid them in their sleep. Because while the world sleeps, it dreams. You ease ponies' minds, a calm, collected, regal princess to them. You comfort them about their dreams, and you care about helping them overcome personal struggles, not through your own knowledge, but through helping them face their problems themselves. You are an advisor to ponies, a supportive and kind friend. As you dwell on this, how supportive and how kind you are, you look over at a pond in your garden. This is a clear pond reflecting the night sky above. As you draw closer, you see another pony in the reflection. They are the opposite of you. They have no kindness, no care or love for others. Unlike your pretty blue pelt, their coat is blacker than black, darker than night. They smile at you with sharp teeth and a flaming blue mane. You know this pony. The nightmare that haunts you in mirrors. The nightmare Luna in your dreams. Nightmare Moon. And yet, she is not you. She is a perversion of you. She is a part of you, but never you. You are Princess Luna. You are the light in the dark shining strength through kindness, love, and virtue. You shine brightest because you must shine alone. But the brightest light does also cast the darkest shadow. This shadow, this nightmare moon, she is only an echo, a part of you. You will never be an echo of her. There will be times when you doubt yourself, times when you feel closer to Nightmare Moon. But when these times come, you will remember your bravery, your compassion. In a dream or in the waking world, this shadow holds no power over you. The shadows, the darkness, you do not fear them. They fear you. They fear you, Luna, because you are real, because you are far braver than they are. You do not live in darkness. The darkness has to live with you. With that thought, you smirk smiling down at the nightmare in the pond. This echo gives a forced grin back at you. With that, you begin a quiet walk of triumph back to Canterlot Castle. The darkest shadow is only your puppet forced to follow your commands. Because you are regal, controlled, measured, you are Princess Luna. You are a different kind of light for those who live in the dark. And those who live in the dark, they do salute you as you trot home. Bat ponies, your loyal royal guards, give you smiles, salutes, and waves where common ponies bow, your royal guard are your friends. You care so deeply about your friends, and you know that they care deeply about you. 
They are happy to see you returning. You ascend the stairs to your chambers, stopping and looking into the mirror. You remove your tiara as only your reflection looks back at you. Both of you smile at each other, and you can make out a light glowing behind you. Twisting, you see that the moon on your cutie mark is glowing. Brilliant, radiant arcs of light fall all around the room, and you realize that this is you. Truly, you are in your element. This is who you are on a very deep down level. This part of your mind, this gear that you are in, is entirely Princess Luna. This is who you are. It feels good to assert these things to yourself to know that they are true. But sometimes, you can't always be Luna. And in times like those, you just need three little words. A trigger you've heard before. Revert to normal. And that will shift your gears back to neutral. And help you be a human once again. But for now, let's shift back into our file-specific gear. Your trigger to be Princess Luna. I am the Princess of the Night. Repeat your trigger and feel the trance become twice as strong, twice as deep. This is a trigger that, after taking you through neutral, will make you Luna once again. And that trigger, I am the princess of the night, can always bring you back to being Luna when you repeat it. Every time you do, you will find yourself relaxing and feeling more and more in your element, and returning to the state of being Luna, of having this as your identity, of this being who you are, and alongside it, whenever you say that phrase, you will find yourself physically changing as well. Any changes that you had before with pony transformation files will find themselves seamlessly returning alongside. Of course, your coat returning to its familiar dark blue, your mane and tail returning to its usual sapphire glow with the night sky and your cutie mark returning to, of course, your cutie mark. A crescent moon with a painted purple background. These are all parts of you specifically, as Luna. They are parts that are unique to this gear of your mind. And they are parts that will come out every time you are in it and fade away every time you are in neutral or another gear. And now, satisfied entirely with your night's work, and satisfied that you will be able to return to being yourself again whenever you say the trigger, you decide to return to your little pony bed to simply slip into sleep, to leave this world that has taught you so much about yourself behind, and to come back to reality. 
Now I am going to count from 10 to 1. And as I do, you're going to find yourself being brought up and back into reality. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 Awake and ready to continue your day. This file was made by Perpetuality of Productive Psychonautics. It features Cavidun's Gearbox and is meant to be used with other Gearbox files. For more information, please check the MP3 comments for a link to our Discord or check the YouTube description for more information. If you'd like to support us for additional hypnosis, please consider supporting us on our Patreon at patreon.com slash productive psychonautics, spelled P-S-Y-C-H-O-N-A-U-T-I-C-S. Thank you.